Did you know that London spent over $70 million on a planned bridge for tourists, although the project never even started construction? From the story behind North Korea's Tower of Doom to a massive empty city and the largest abandoned skyscraper, let's take a closer look at the five biggest mega projects that were never finished. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments below if you know of similar failed mega projects in your country. Number 5. Changyun International Project China has arguably undergone the most rapid transformation of any country in the past three decades. The country has completed massive mega projects worthy of its rising economic growth. While China has become a leader in infrastructure projects, it has also earned a reputation for turning cities into ghost towns with little to no population. One of these ghost towns is located in China's Hubei province, the Shangyun International Project. This development is divided into two distinct residential and entertainment districts and was set to feature European-style buildings, connecting bridges, huge parking and shopping complexes, and even skyscrapers. However, the rapid development came to a grinding halt in 2014 when the real estate company behind the project was put under investigation for corruption. The property prices nosedived as a result, and the company ended up declaring bankruptcy. The head developer aimed to invest $17 billion into the project, and close to 700 residential complexes were already sold when the construction stopped. The location for the project is very convenient, with proximity to rail and subway stations. Traffic can be heard roaring across the streets just outside the district, but inside, it paints a picture of a ghost town that is only inhabited by stray animals. The project was seized by local authorities in 2017, and with no further development, moving into the property became impossible, and the premises have remained empty. The billions invested are at risk of being lost as the buildings inside the development continue to deteriorate. Today, the location is practically a landmark for explorers who come here to take photos and are amazed by the fact that such a huge development could be left in its current state. Number 4. London Garden Bridge The next unfinished mega-project was planned in Europe at one of London's most iconic destinations, the Thames River. The city had planned to build a bridge that would act as a floating garden above the river. The project was first lobbied by actor Joanna Lumley who came up with the idea of a garden bridge in the 90s. The plans were finally unveiled in 2012, with a 366-meter green bridge covered with trees and flowers, at a cost of $85 million, set to connect the South Bank with the Temple area. The clad concrete structure was supposed to be open 18 hours a day, and would have attracted an estimated 3 million visitors per year. It was promised that the bridge would be financed by private donors, and no public funds would be needed. However, by 2015, the charity behind the project, called the Garden Bridge Trust, revealed that the cost had risen to $260 million, and $85 million were to be procured from public funds. This resulted in a massive public outcry, and several journalists criticized the project for its extravagance. The bridge wasn't serving any immediate purpose, as it was built in an area that already had enough bridges. Compared to other similar venues, this proposed bridge was way too expensive. The 325-meter Millennium Bridge, for example, was constructed at a cost of just $25 million. The preparations were stalled in July 2016, pending a financial review. By 2017, the costs had risen beyond $280 million, and only $180 million was secured at the time. It would have taken at least six more years to arrange the money needed for the project. That's why it was officially scrapped in August 2017 as the review committee decided it was better to cut their losses instead of moving ahead with the costly venture. The inquiry also revealed that talks were held with Apple to fund the project and to name it the Apple Bridge if an agreement was reached, but the company wanted to open a store at the premises, something that would go against the vision of the project. The failed project is said to have cost $60 million, the bulk of which went to the contractor, as a contract had already been signed and another $12.5 million went to design costs. What was once dubbed as a gift to London faced financial uncertainty and a lack of transparency from the start. As a result, what was meant to be a sustainable and scenic architectural icon turned into a planning disaster, spending millions without even starting construction. Number 3 is the Doha Shark Crossing. In 2010, Qatar was awarded the rights to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup under controversial circumstances. 
immense pressure for a transparent inquiry resulted in the sacking and resignations of prominent FIFA officials. The 2022 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. Despite the outcry, Qatar moved ahead with its preparations, which included numerous infrastructure projects. One of these was the Dola Bay Crossing, renamed later as the Doha Shark Crossing. The Dola Bay Crossing, a major infrastructure project in Qatar, was first announced in 2013. The plan involved a 12-kilometer crossing made up of three bridges connected by long underwater tunnels. The crossing was intended to accommodate up to 6,000 vehicles per hour, improving traffic flow between the West Bay Area and the Hammond International Airport. The project had an estimated cost of $12 billion, but was put on hold less than two years after its unveiling due to low oil prices and a strained construction sector. The government postponed non-essential mega-projects, including the shark crossing, due to a shortage of skilled labor caused by an increasing demand for residential developments. After a delay of four years, the project was revisited in December 2019, when the Public Works Authority of Qatar invited local contractors to brief them on the plans to restart the project. Although Qatar announced a $140 billion budget for the completion of their mega-projects in 2020, the Dola Bay crossing may not be completed in time for the 2022 FIFA World Cup as construction is expected to take at least four years. Next on the list is a mega-project from North Korea, an unexpected entry due to the country's reputation for being unwelcoming to foreign visitors, especially from the Western world. Despite this, North Korea once had plans to build a 105-story pyramid-shaped hotel that would have been the tallest hotel of its time and would have accommodated thousands of foreign visitors. The project was conceived as a result of North Korea's direct rivalry with South Korea, which was transitioning into a capitalist democracy as opposed to the communist regime in the North. Construction on the Ravyong Hotel began in 1987 with financial backing from Russia. The building would have stood at 330 meters and consisted of three wings, each forming a cone towards the top. The upper part of the pyramid-shaped structure was to house five revolving restaurants with panoramic views of the Pyongyang skyline. However, the project was abandoned in 1992 after the collapse of the Soviet Union, which had provided the necessary funding. For the next 16 years, the hollow concrete structure remained untouched and became known as the Hotel of Doom. In 2008, an Egyptian company took over the project and installed a glass facade and LEDs on the building's exterior for $108 million. However, Engineering issues halted the renewed construction efforts, and the building was deserted once again. In 2018, the building was once again brought to life when the LEDs on the exterior were used to display Korean history and other messages from the government. However, projections suggest that it will cost $2 billion to complete the hotel, which is 5% of North Korea's total GDP. Despite the intermittent construction efforts, it seems unlikely that this concrete mountain will ever be finished. The Rijong Hotel is currently listed by Guinness World Records as the tallest unoccupied building in the world. In this video, we have explored the top five mega projects that were never completed. The first project was the Shangyan International Project in China, which was halted in 2014 due to corruption allegations against the real estate company behind the project. The second project was the Garden Bridge in London, which was scrapped in 2017 due to rising costs and public outcry. The third project was the Doha Shark Crossing, a 12-kilometer-long crossing in Qatar that was postponed in 2015 due to low oil prices and an overburdened construction sector. The fourth project was the Rivdyong Hotel in North Korea, which has remained unfinished since 1992 due to the lack of funds. The last project on the list was the Golden Finance 117 in China, which was suspended in 2015 due to bankruptcy and later hit by a government ban on skyscrapers over 500 meters. While some of these projects have attracted visitors and climbers, it seems unlikely that they will ever be completed. Do you know of any similar projects that were never finished? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.